yeah, all of them are effectively dead. Like, dead, dead. There we go. He's immune to explosions, but he's not immune to shredding. And that's exactly what we're going to do. Now that we do have all of the time in the world. Good. Let's get our snipers a bit closer. Let them basically catch up. Perfect time to summon our ghost as well. That depletes our uh, focus, but we're having an additional very much exposable, uh, expendable unit on the battlefield. Overwatch, 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 Reload, and the Templar Ghost basically just moves up for now. He's unsure where exactly we are, basically just wasting turns. Let's move over here. Templar Ghost begins to move in. Templar also begins to move in, together they can Make very short process of him. Into cover, into cover. A lot of extra reloading, as we're not moving much. There is really no need to do or to move a lot this turn. Good. Next turn we're going to start shredding him and then both of the Templars are going to move in. And I think that that would also, once we killed him, that would be the end of um, the session. I think the major parts have been done at that point. Not going to prolong it much longer. There we go, three points of shredding. That's exactly what we were looking for. I'll lead the way. No need to engage with him yet. I mean, yeah, technically, we can try to give it a shot. Might as well just do an overwatch, because longwatch will anyways trigger if he starts to move.
Interesting choice of position. Yeah, we could technically attack the sector port. Not sure if we want to do that. Let's do a long watch for now. A hunter certainly doesn't yet know what he's up for. There we go, that's um, a potential shot. Misses will not trigger the pack, by the way. Which is why I like to do it on Overwatch. They don't even know uh, that we're there. Getting nervous yet? No, we're not really getting nervous yet, no. By thinking about it, uh, there is absolutely no need to get nervous. Nice little remote start, by the way. Dealing 24 points of damage. Can't even reach them. They are too far away. Let's try to get rid of uh, the mech first. Can't even see us to uh, reaching that massive sector port. Instead, let's put our expendable ghost up here. Because realistically speaking, why not? Moving up, might as well start uh, hitting that sector pod. We do have blue screen rounds, so even with a lot of armor, it's still decent damage. Nothing to particularly write home about, uh, but decent. You know what, let's just use an 8 protocol just for the lols because that will make him harder to hit. Overwatch, Overwatch, Overwatch. Overwatch and we're putting an 8 protocol on Fatal as well, that way he has full cover. Just in case the sector port decides to do something funky. Go on already. Kill all the humans. Normally he should simply go for the only target that he has available, but with full cover and um, an aid protocol, there is really not that much that he can do. Maybe he's coming in and going for Wrath Cannon. That's his typical play. But he's going to deeply regret that. Still 
There we go. Now the shredding starts kicking in. Unfortunately, miss with the second shredding gun. Yeah, for good measures. Let's try to hit him. Interesting. Chose to take a second shot. Star Lancer Sargon Lance. You know how it is. You know how it is. There are a couple of things that are for sure in life. They used to say it's death taxes. But I might add uh, stun lances are gonna lance to that. Sounds uh, pretty, uh, pretty much, at least like my experience. Yep, that's going to help, but we already learned that I shall not attack uh, whilst uh, the enemy has a shield up. So let's shortly get that shield down. And one way of dealing with that actually would be... Mm, nah. Yep, there we go, that's good. Are we getting plus one focus? No, we don't, but that's fine. Should have probably not moved right behind the tree. Because guess what? That tree is going to disappear very soon. But it's going to be alright. Don't worry. So some more shredding. And cover removal. There we go. Very clean. Now, next up, how about we're reloading to be action efficient and finally complete the shredding on the sector pod. Uh -huh. That's one hit. Maybe should have turned it around and let the other sniper hit first because now that he's getting the kill he will not be able to accumulate any experience from it. By the way, could have gone for a serial kill here. Chose not to. Probably another small mistake. Ooh, look at that, he dodged. On the margin. Well, figured that that might happen. But how about a combat presence, which is exactly what you want. There we go. By the numbers. Case closed. That might trigger another pack. Which is fine. I can deal with him and him alone. Let's put a parry up there. All right, we got needle to armor piercing. We got shredder. 
Uh, that's not a hundred percent kill. I don't like it. Getting a bit closer to the front line. We're using Sting. Well, and we are very well advised to do so. Let's see if we can shut it at least down. He hasn't upgraded the, um, the drones, so... Yeah, we, we could have even taken control of it. Yeah, but we're going to be fine. Most important part was literally to just reduce the number of overall enemies. There is the parry, which is fine. Going to take a shot. Oh, look at that, deflected. Some more armor. And by the way, that's the last pack. I originally didn't want to do the entire uh, mission in one run, but apparently just so turned out work I'm having a vision I'll give you a sporting chance all right can't reach the enemy that's a bummer Wow, can't even see them. That's how far away they are. Okay, I do have an idea. Which is move out, just as pull this trooper to here. Okay, we failed to even do that. Interesting. Because the idea was to use our sniper. He, re uh, he needed to reload anyways. And I wanted to make sure that we can put Fatal back into solid cover. Moving back. We only have one energy left, so we're not going to risk anything. Instead, we're just moving fully away. Can't remote start anything. Moving a tiny bit further away. Overwatch, Overwatch. Good. I hope that they are going to come closer without being able to immediately shoot. Of course, 
with the burst circuit it's a bit different he will probably trigger all of our overboard shots not the best uh, chances but still better than like moving forward we're eventually are going to get him down wow he took a lot of damage he's almost down Yeah, I would be pissed if I'd be him. It's yet another deflect. Okay. Nice. Yeah, we took quite a few hits. But like I said, that was expected, was to be expected. Chosen should focus on him again. Nope. Does not focus on him. Okay, fair enough. Let's enable the Templar first. Gotta put up some more power. And there we go. Back to three focus. That's exactly what I was looking for. Before we're deciding where we're going. Let's move into a proper position. This guy is flanked. Caught him with his pants down. Yeah, let's start with the mech as well. Unfortunately, we missed that one. Moving up into a somewhat decent position. Another miss. Luckily the hair trigger might be able to save us. Wow, another miss, okay. All right. Still working on this guy. Good, moving up, probably not fully in range. Moving up over here. That takes care of the straggler from uh, the side. And this here essentially sacrifices our ghost for the greater good. It only had two hit points left, so not the end of the world. We do have blue screen rounds on the Reaper here. And how about we're just going to give an aid protocol.
open up and full cover. Overwatch. Overwatch. Another aid protocol. Another Overwatch, and we got momentum available, which we are going to use to just get behind our line. See that compact formation? That's exactly what you're looking for. At best, they are shooting into full cover. And more often than not, if the enemy advances, you can just pick up some stragglers. Good. That's one, that one is an easy decision because we need to get out of here. Trying to wrath ourselves. Didn't work out. So we just need to walk. I suppose. Do we have a grenade? Walking into the open is normally not advised under any normal circumstances. However, if you very, very strongly feel that you are going to uh, kill this guy, you might as well take your chances. I know that there is no further pack. Good, there you go. Shield removed and modest, moderately shredded. Poisoned and pretty much shredded. Yeah, let's try to give him the kill. He still needs promotions. Didn't work out. And there we go, finally. So that was the last one. Which brings us to the interesting situation that we only have the chosen left over. Moving up without moving into the direction of the Chosen. Good, let's see what he is going to do. Double move, interesting. Well, we are certainly going to put it down. Alright, moving into cover. And let's just banish him for starters. Nice. Keep it going. Try that again, Reaper. I Lucky shot, Reaper. You sure you're up to this? Decent, but not good enough. I suppose that's not bad for a human. Good. 
Let's amplify. And we're going to start annoying him really, really well. Nice little parry. Alright, let's try that again. Oh, did that hurt? I'm so sorry. Oh, he's immune against explosions. Almost forgot that for a second. But the explosion will inevitably take uh, the cover away and then we're just going to kill him. Doesn't matter that we're standing in the open for now. Alright, nice little amplified damage. And there he goes, 10 extra points for killing the Chosen. And we're pretty much through that. Ooh, guys, one hour. I might be afterwards editing it into two different parts. Like I said, I wanted to keep it 30 minutes-ish each mission. What a ride. That was actually some clean X coming overall, I would say. I think it's even a flawless mission, considering the circumstances and just how um, the entire team came together last minute. It wasn't our top team by any stretch of the imagination. But yeah, I think we haven't taken any damage and it was front to back actually a relatively smooth experience. See that's the advantage if you pull only one pot at a time. Didn't specifically try to do that this time but it just happened to work out. If you take enough care, you only have one uh, pot at a time, use your consumables well. Don't overdo it, uh, essentially use a grenade per uh, pot on average just to either get away um, a, with the cover or uh, shred the enemy. We even had some uh, grenades left over at the end, so that was good. 10 extra points and yeah, it was flawless. Great. Whew, let's move on. And here we go, we're back. Got a nice promotion on Mayday. Let's get some field medic, that's good. And we got a ton of corpses, which equals money. And we even got another promotion, if I'm not mistaken, right here. There we go, let's get wrap some demolition and we got another uh, corporal. Mayday seems to be in love with a ranger, Pitbull, well that's fine. Go confirm the bond. I usually don't take a bond between uh, two specialists that wouldn't be very effective. 
We got a couple of negative trades, which was to be expected. Improving the bond just a tiny bit. So let's take a look at the armory. Well, a lot of training, a lot of wounded, lightly wounded. The guys need some rest. So next big milestone is going to be to infiltrate the stronghold of the Chosen. Reduction of contact costs. And we're almost done with the research. Let's see, can we get one more heavy weapon? Yeah, we got enough cores. So let's get another heavy weapon. Finally, 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 we got uh, mm, the uh, the right um, projects. Oh, when the game is telling you that an enhanced version is available, that means he's probably lost them previously. Ouch, that would be bad. I feel for him. Losing the um, alien special armors always suck, uh, but if you lose all of them, that definitely is bad. I I re uh, respect him for continuing to play anyways. That is good. Let's go for the plasma lance. In terms of engineering, most important part now will be to upgrade the armor. Oh, look at that. Are you telling me we could get all of that back? Serpent armor and the rage armor? Well, bad news is we got to get that here first. Let's try to get the serpent armor because that's in all honesty a pretty, pretty decent armor. So now that we spent that, does it effectively mean that we could pick it up? No, since we don't have it. Ah, too bad. Not sure why the game is offering us to do that. Let's see, proving grounds, can we build it? No, can't do that either. Battlefield medicine, by the way, is exactly what we would need. So Viper corpses and supplies are needed. This is an important upgrade. I'm shocked to see that that hasn't been upgraded. But then again, he seemed to be struggling with the monetary part and with the prioritization. Good. Alien laws and uh, crystals is exactly what we need at this point, uh, Larium, because that's what miss uh, what is missing for the armors, and we probably also need a lot of supplies. That's the next mission right there. Gotta fight the Haven assault. Mutants, Archons, Sectoids, Berserks, Chrysalids. Nothing good comes out of uh, that one. Uh, maybe with the exception of uh, the faceless ones, so that I can at least get a mimic beacon. Hopefully. But yeah, that's uh, the end of episode uh, number eight, effectively. We are okay um, from a soldier count. Got a few colonels. I'm still trying to get kind of the other soldiers in line. And we'll get them some more exposure so that we can level them up. But boy, boy. This is harder than expected. If you enjoy the Saving the Disaster campaigns, feel free to leave a comment down below. Um, and um, if you haven't done so, please subscribe to the channel. That uh, would do me a solid. And we're going to see each other in the next episode. Thank you. Bye-bye.